It's always going to be a continuous project. I don't think it's going to ever stop. So my hands are cold And my mouth is dry So this journey is told Is a mountain high So the wind she burns My name's Rob Wells and I've been BMXing for about six years now. I'm Tom. <laughs> Um, I've been riding BMX for about two years. I'm Rufus. Ru. I've only been BMXing for about four years or so. We started off with jumps which were probably about the size of the height of my knee. Um, and usually they're all filled in, so they're called tabletops then, where you uh, don't have a gap in the middle so they're easy to learn on and it's a lot harder to fall off on one of those. Um, and now they've kind of evolved into some pretty, pretty big jumps. I think the biggest one we've got here now has got a gap of about 16 feet. The thing about ours is they sort of start small and then they sort of work up. We've been working on them now for probably about five or six years down here. We built the start ramp out of pallets and just bits of wood. Just, it's pretty sketchy. Tom comes out with the JCB, piles a big pile of soil up, then we have to smack it into shape for a few, few hours, which can take quite a long time. Once it's smacked down into shape, uh, you usually leave it for a couple of days, then you water it off again. Smack it down again, kind of repeat that process until it gets really, really hard, and then it's usually ready to ride. Through the winter is the best time to do it, obviously, when it's a bit damp. Through from, I think we start usually start doing early, early September and right through till, I mean, what are we now? We're April now and we're just about finished it, doing the digging. There's probably still a strong four or five of us who come down here on a regular basis and build and also ride. When we maintain them, we just, every day we come riding, we'll just um, water them down a bit, sweep the dust. It's always going to be a continuous project. I don't think it's going to ever stop. The idea of that would be to fill it all. Just fill it. That would be my vision. My injuries from this place, um, I've had broken, broken wrist, um, broken thumb. Um, Cousin broke his back. I broke my ankle before as well. We had a punctured liver. Some people are just too silly and will just go in straight away thinking they can do it after seeing us. I mean. Sometimes we might make it look a bit easier, I suppose. I'd say a lot of my social life happens down here. Yeah, we have like bonfires and barbecues down here, which is all really nice. Trails are a pretty big part of our social life. We have a jam every now and again where we get loads of riders around. Come down, have speakers out here and stuff like that. I don't know what we'd do if we didn't have this now. It's become such a part of our lifestyle. We're really lucky to have it. We'd miss it a lot if it wasn't here. Let's hope, let's hope it stays for as long as possible. Keep us in